Hi, this is Jeff Holsinger. I want to do a quick video on remote receivers and satellite remotes and the different type of radios and what's compatible and what isn't compatible. I'm going to go through this rather quickly and I also suggest that you watch it on a, a computer monitor of some sort because some of the subtle differences I'm going to show you on the remote receivers you're not going to be able to see it on the phone. So let's get started. The first system that hit the market way back when was the DX6 Park Flyer system. The DX6 radio came out and it had a new protocol called DSM. DSM would only receivers were, were available at the time were these DSM six channel receivers. So everything was pretty simple. You had a Park Flyer radio and a DSM system you used this DSM only receiver. Then as time progressed we came out with a system called DSM-2. So DSM-2 wanted to also be able to work with DSM. So initially they came out with DSM-2 systems and they looked like this. They were modules that plugged into the back of our 72 megahertz transmitters. They made them for, for JR and they also made them for Fataba. So now we've introduced another protocol in the world and it's called DSM-2 two it was full range and DSM so your DSM 2 radios would work with your old style DSM receivers and that was that was a, a real plus for a lot of guys so the radios that came out in those days were like JR radios they had seven channel JR radios this is a nine channel and this radio hit the market and it was DSM 2 and DSM but Horizon had a campaign for a while when DSM-X came out that you were able to take this type of radio and send it in and have it upgraded to DSM-X. But once you had it upgraded to DSM-X, DSM fell off. So now you've got a radio that's DSM-X capable and DSM-2 capable. This radio was never upgraded, so it's only dsm and DSM-2. So if you see any of these in the used market or you happen to be flying with one of these and you buy DSM-X receivers, you're not really flying on DSM-X. You're defaulting back to DSM-2 with your DSM-X receiver and I'll go through that here in a minute. Your modern radios like this 10, this radio comes with DSM-X and DSM-2 and it does not do DSM because that's three generations back so think about it you, you do two at a time so this is DSM X and DSM 2 capable and that's what your modern radios do now let's talk about the different receivers and the different things that you need to watch out for there's let's start out with these power safe or power safe receivers here's two power safe receivers I want to show you they're identical to each other and if you look real close one says DSM-2 one says DSM-X but they're identical it's important to look at the receiver because it'll be clearly marked whether it's DSM-2 or DSM-X all the receivers are typically marked that way here's just a small receiver and see it's got an X on it so we know it's DSM uh, X capable here's another smaller receiver and it's got an X on it so we know it's DSM X but there's a lot a lot of receivers out there that are still DSM 2 here's an example this is a nine channel receiver and it's clearly marked DSM 2 will not bind with DSM X but it will work with a DSM X transmitter because a DSM X transmitter also binds DSM 2 receivers so let's look at the different satellites. This satellite is a DSM-2 satellite and also you know if you notice and you look at it it's got the little spectrum bars it does not have an X on it. This is a DSM-2 receiver, remote receiver. This right here is a JR branded product that is DSM-2 also remote. These receivers were designed to work with the old DSM-2 
uh, base units that uh, that I showed you earlier. So they work with the, the older DSM-2 base units. Now the modern receivers, satellite remotes, I would say, not receivers, but satellite remotes, all have an X engraved in them. So if you see this one right here, that's a DSM X remote, but it also will work with DSM 2 if that's the style of radio you have. This is another DSM X remote. See the X clearly marked on the case? So it will work with DSM X and it will work with DSM 2. Now, there's one more remote I want to show you. This is the new remotes that you, if you buy a new receiver, this is what you're going to receive right here. This right here is a DSM X satellite receiver and DSM 2 satellite receiver. It does both protocols and will work in the DSM 2 mode and the DSM X mode. So, but let's get into some exceptions. If you've got a DSM 2 base like this, you're able to use an X remote or a 2 remote but you will always default and bind in DSM-2 mode even if you have a DSM-X transmitter because the base and the remotes are DSM-2 and DSM-2 capable only. Now if you've got a DSM-X base you can only use DSM-X remotes. You can't put a DSM-2 remote on this base it will not bind. It won't work. You can't have three, say, DSM-X remotes and one DSM-2 remotes. The system just will not allow that to happen. But, like I said, on a DSM-2 base, you're able to use X remotes and DSM-2 remotes if you so happen to want to do it. Okay, so let's talk about the new stuff. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. But anyway, so the new stuff has come out and this is what it looks like. This is a new 10 channel receiver and they make them with the gyros and they are using a different style receiver. I'm not going to call this a remote which a lot of people are calling them remotes but they're actually full-fledged receivers. So you've got a receiver here and a receiver here. When you update your receivers you actually update the receiver that's in the base and then you'll actually update this receiver here. Now they make a couple different styles. This one happens to have the antennalist style. I'll show you another one here that has the two little antenna wires. It is what they call serial receivers. They only work with the new serial style um, base units and some of the receivers is out there. Let me grab another one real quick. I show you this this one right off hand. This is this is the new power safe stuff. So with the new power safe, they only work with the new serial receivers. So none of the DSM two remotes, the DSM X remotes, no matter what, they will not work with the newer stuff. The newer stuff takes the serial remote. So Hopefully that brings everybody up to speed with remotes and serial remote receivers and, and remote receivers and, and X's and even way back in the DSM-1 stuff. Believe it or not, I still see DSM-1 stuff pop up once in a while at the local fields, but very rarely. But I still see a lot and lots of DSM-2 stuff. I just ran into a case the other day with a guy that had a DSM-2 two receive or DSM-2 transmitter and he was buying all these new X receivers and he thought he was in X mode and I explained to him that your transmitter is not ever been upgraded and it's not capable of doing X so he really didn't understand so I went through this whole thing with him but got any questions guys please just email me or look up my phone number on Facebook and I'll be glad to talk to you on the phone and then we can figure out what you might have if you got some questions Hopefully this will help. Thanks for listening.